You are watching MVTV, Mountain View TV. Today we're going to be giving you tips and tricks and educating you on doing construction the right way. Hi, I'm Devin Tilly, Mountain View Window and Door, and today I'm going to talk to you about reglazing an Anderson E-Series window. The beauty of this window system is that it not a matter of if, it's when something happens, right? So the thing is, is this here is the entry to our showroom here in Denver, Colorado, that unfortunately somebody thought it would be really cool to throw a rock through this uh, center window, so we have to deal with that, right? So I turned the camera on, I thought it was a perfect time to talk through about reglazing a window. And what does glazing mean? Glazing is the insulated piece of glass that's inside of this window system that there's actually one, two, three windows and a door that is all mulled or is the industry term where you're attaching parts and pieces together to make an entry system. So this all has to be tempered glass because it's within 24 inches of the door. So when this glass broke, it didn't fall in a bunch of pieces, but obviously it did break and we had to fix it. So we turn the camera on here now is that you can see there's no glass in here, but these do have the glass. So when it's done, obviously this is what it's going to look like. But you see here this window frame and my guys are cleaning this all up to where all of the old glass and silicone is all cleaned up very well and then they're going to put new silicone through here and then what I'm holding in my hand are the interior stops. The stops are the pieces of decorative wood that holds the glass in as well as if you have screens and other details. So this here is the contemporary stop and you see when we uh, supply a new piece of glass we have it come with the new stops that have this uh, 3M tape on the back or what we call it glazing tape we put on the back of the stops that help hold it. So what, how this is going to go and uh, we'll turn the camera on and kind of see the rest of the process but obviously we remove the broken glass, clean it all up, uh, first you have to take the, the stops off where this piece here comes off and that's where you see the exposed insides and then this piece right here is the glazing stop that actually holds the glass in. So Randy's going to go to work here and clean this all up and we're going to process, document this process on how you replace a piece of glass in the Anderson E-Series from Mountain View Window and Door. So I'm here with Randy and everything is all prepped and uh, safely we're going to use, we'll be using suction cups that put pressure so you can hold the glass and set it in here. This is our brand new piece of insulated glass meaning you got glass, spacer bar and glass and again this needs to be tempered for code because of the door and it's nice, it comes with this protective film uh, during installation. And we have it all prepped to where we have, here is the shims sitting on there to where the glass is shimmed properly, as well as, as we have this, uh, the glazing tape. And the key to this is that uh, what Randy did before he put this new stuff on here is that it really cleaned the whole window first because it, if the old stuff stays on there, that's what's going to fail, right, Randy? So the key is to get all the old stuff off, get all brand new glazing tape, and then we're going to set this glass in here, and then we're going to silicone it as well, correct? Right. So let's go ahead and set that glass, Randy. You can see with that suction cup how valuable that is because otherwise how do you get your fingers back in there so it's a great tool to have so now he's centering that on the shims and that glass fits in there just perfectly and compressing that against the glazing tape so we'll get that all set and then we'll uh, put the stops back on we'll have a new nice piece of glass silicone what's silicone you need that stuff yeah yeah that's the key to sealing the glass to the frame and the, the beauty of working with a great supplier like Mountain View Window and Door, as, we, as is the, the brains behind this MVTV, is that when we have the unforeseen thing of a rock going through this, we work with Josh in the purchasing department, and Anderson is such a great manufacturer that they supply us with the proper AMA certified silicone, that's a clear silicone. They send us all the right parts, shims, pieces, so when Randy and my service tech goes out there, we have all the right pieces to do it the same way in the field as they do it in the factory. And that's very important to work with a supplier and a manufacturer that's not just going to grab whatever off the shelf that they have. 
or uh, it's in the truck, it's been there for a year, but it'll do the job, it'll fill the void, right? It's making sure you have proper materials. So Randy, why don't you go ahead and put that silicone on there. And what he's going to do is he's gonna totally fill the void. So the glazing tape glazes the glass to the frame, but the silicone fills in all the voids to where it doesn't allow any, any infiltration as well as just creates that full bond on that structure. So Randy is a true professional and he knows how to properly remove these pin nails. So we're going to use the luxury of that he got all four of these pieces or glazing stop. This here is the stop that holds the glass in, i.e. glazing stop. And uh, since he was able to get all four off without damaging them, we're going to go ahead and use the existing ones which he's putting on now. And the reason I do that is that this clear maple being right next to the sun here, it will fade and change a little bit. So uh, if we would have broke one piece, we would have put all four of the new ones on. But since we didn't break any of them, we're going to reuse the old ones because they're all in great shape and he did such a good job of reglazing this glass. So he did get the new glazing tape put on there, right? So we took off the old, cleaned it up, put new glazing tape on there. And, and this has a beveled edge so it's rolling off the back of the, if there's any water, it's gonna roll off of that. But this is our contemporary stops that he's gonna go ahead and put that last piece on there. And now the glass is glazed in. So then the next is the parting stop. And this here is really on this particular window is purely for decorative to cover up how this window is manufactured behind the scenes. But if this were an operating window, say an awning that hinged from the top, typically because of the size or if a casement, and you wanted a window screen, this is also has the channel built into it to where the screen sets in for the window. So, uh, Randy, is there a certain way that you always put these in? Yeah, you always put your sides in first, and then your bottom and tops, basically notch it your sides. Exactly. So we see how he's putting the sides in is because the so watch how he puts the sides in first and it has these little kerfs like fish hooks that is how it's sealed into the, so he's pushing that back in into the window. Another great thing so when you're installing this from the beginning, these pieces here can be taken off and then if you have to put in any additional fasteners or how we mold this all together you can use those and put screws and fasteners behind this. I see it so often that people will take this beauty cap on the inside and such a shame they'll drill right through this stuff and put fasteners that you see. Why would you do that when you can just pop this off and you can go and put the top piece on there and you don't have to worry about seeing those fasteners. So this really is just a decorative piece putting the whole thing when it's all said and there you go. We, the one thing we do need to do though is put some finish nails in. Um, so uh, Randy's going to fire up the air compressor and put some finish nails. So when you do reglaze the glass, you do need to have that compressor and those tools with you to properly do this. So Randy, what do you? What can you really screw up here when you're doing the nails? Uh, to get to get the nail at an angle, you can hit the glass basically break the glass. Yeah, and with this tempered glass, you just hit that edge. This whole glass is wasted wow. so we did all this beautiful work and it's perfectly sealed if that nail if you angle it wrong so the key is is to make sure you're shooting it back or down don't go out to the glass and, and hit that piece of glass thanks for watching and seeing how you replace a piece of glass on an Anderson E series window through MVTV the leaders in the industry Click on a picture to be redirected for more great information.